So would you like to tell me a little bit about yourself to get started? Yeah, um, my name is Emily Allen. I'm a PhD candidate um, over in the musicology department in the College of Music. Um, so I'm at the dissertating stage working on a project in Mobile, Alabama about their Mardi Gras traditions. Um, cool. There. Yeah, so looking at mostly the brass bands, but of course there's other musical stuff I'm looking at too besides that. So that's mainly what I'm working on with that. So, um, how's quarantine been treating you? Um, like anybody else, some good days, some less good days, you know, um, trying to find some kind of structure, you know, to make the each day feel like some kind of normal, you know, so I'm trying to work out to whatever YouTube videos I can find <laughs> online. Um, to get see, stay active, you know, with my assistantship, I normally have like a specific shift at work, so I'm trying to stick to those hours, you know, so I feel like I have some kind of routine. Um, but then there are some days that I just, you know, don't feel like doing anything, and that's okay too. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, just depends on the day, if that makes sense. Yeah, for sure. And I definitely would agree. It's kind of hard to trying to stick to a routine but then it's like i don't have to so <laughs> <laughs> all right and uh, some people have been like i'm still dressing up like i'm going to work and stuff i'm like no i'm just yeah. working in my pjs <laughs> oh yeah if you get the opportunity to work in pjs always work in pjs indeed <laughs> for sure so how has your dissertation research been affected by all of this um, it definitely has for summer. Um, I actually secured a few research grants for the summer that were going to fund me to go over the, to Mobile. But right now, obviously, with everyone's health being the main priority, that might not happen this summer. So I, I think it'll still happen. It's just going to be like pushed back more than I expected, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, yeah. at least I still have the money. So. Yeah, well, and on the plus side, you know, this has actually forced me to kind of slow down. Like, normally I'm always on the go and doing things. So mm -hmm. this has kind of helped me to just slow down and actually focus, like, on the writing part and going through a lot of the data that I already do have. So there's kind of a plus side to this slowness of the routine, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. in terms of the dissertation. So... I don't know. It, it, I'm trying to look for a silver lining. That's good. How has writing been during all of this for you? Um, it's definitely been like tricky because normally I'm the kind of person that has to go somewhere that's not home to write well. Mm -hmm. um, so I've had to kind of adjust to working at home more. Um, so I've been, again, trying to build that structure around my assistantship hours and like usually when I get off that's when I try to write so I'm trying to use that the little structure that I do have to my routine to try <laughs> to get some writing in yeah um are you still taking classes at this stage or is it all no. just dissertation and research okay yeah, the latter. So I can't imagine trying to do classes right now. Are you in that boat? Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's interesting for sure. And some professors have been really good about the shift, and some of them have been really not good <laughs> about the shift. Right. Oh my gosh. Are you hold hanging in there with all that? Yeah, we only have a couple weeks left in the semester, so I'm trying to power through, you know. Yeah, are you doing stuff over the summer with classes? Yes, I'm taking two classes online and they actually shifted all of the summer classes to online. But I saw gonna, that. Yeah, I was going to be taking them online anyway, so it doesn't really affect me at all. Oh, okay. Gotcha. But yeah, I'm trying to Weird. take... Yeah, I'm trying to get some requirements for my second major out of the way so that I can start in the fall, like already having those done. Yeah, gotcha. It's definitely a weird time. 
Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed that people are doing pretty good about it though, for the most part, because it's hard, but. Mm hmm Like social distancing, for example, how, how have you been, you know, navigating that? Because I know that's been kind of. Yeah, I'm kind of getting used to it, which is also weird to be used to just kind of being at home all the time. Um, but now I get excited anytime I have an excuse to go out. Like, I get so excited to go to the grocery store. Like, yes. <laughs> anything to get just like, like driving my car feels weird now, you know, because you're just at home. So it's just try to enjoy the little things um, like that, like the outings I am able to do. But even then it's still like a very different approach like i still feel sort of weird about going out like for instance i usually try to wear a scarf for something you know when i go to the grocery store i have to bring a clorox wipe with me because i know they're trying to wipe down like grocery carts and stuff but you know it's just normally you wouldn't think about doing stuff like that so it's just a different routine so what's the end goal for you after you get your phd um, my goal is to do, hopefully, um, the traditional, like, professor position um, at some sort of university, um, you know, but I'm also, I do love, as well, doing publicly engaging work. Um, honestly, I think my dissertation itself is for Mobile itself. Um, so I wouldn't mind doing some sort of what they call public musicology as well. Um, so working for maybe like a nonprofit or even the Alabama government or something, because I, I mean, you can still be a musicologist, you know, outside of the academy too. So I just, either one I would be happy with. I like to play a lot of, I think just because of my pr primary context in which I've been playing clarinet is just like usual concert band or wind ensemble type musics. Um, so I play a lot of that in town with like the Tallahassee winds for in instance. So I think in terms of like what's my normal thing to dabble in, that's it. But I also do like get excited by trying new genres. Like for instance, I had a polka gig a few months ago and I've never played polka music before, but it was really kind of fun. It was for an Oktoberfest. <laughs> I was like, that's this neat. is random, but it's fun. <laughs> We're running out of time here. So do you have any final closing remarks, maybe advice for any other grad students who might have to go through something like this in the future? Knock on wood that they don't, but. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, just, I guess the thing that I've had to learn in all this, and I'm sure other people too, but if anyone else goes through this in the future, just kind of accept anything you're feeling. Like, don't try to like act like you have to suppress what you're feeling to be productive, to do whatever. You know, accept any kind of anxieties you feel, or if you, you know, don't feel like working on a certain day or do, just let yourself feel those things. Because um, I think that that's healthier to acknowledge those feelings and work through it than just not acknowledging them and then you know, letting it build up um, and all of this. So that's kind of what I've been grappling with. And I imagine other people are too. I would agree. And that's really good advice, I think, to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How to take care of our mental health. Yes. Thank you so much for sitting down and talking with me. This was really great. Yeah, it was nice to meet and you. You had some really interesting stuff to say. It's nice to meet you too. <laughs>